Good evening. Welcome to day 44. 44, taste and see. It's one of my favourite verses in the Bible, this. Psalm 38, Psalm 34, verse 8. It says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste. We taste with our tongues, at least mostly. But some of God's, in fact, I've got a bit of tea stuck in my tooth. But some of God's creations are a lot more, well, interesting than that. For instance, a butterfly tastes with its feet, while a fly tastes with both its lips and its feet. Bees taste with their mouth parts, their front legs and their antennae. An octopus tastes with the suckers of its tentacles, and some species of octopus have as many as 1,800 suckers. I was watching a programme, random fact, in fact, interesting fact for me for once, I was watching how beavers can smell underwater so they know what to taste, and they smell underwater by blowing out bubbles of air which touch the thing that they're sniffing, and then they suck the bubbles of air back inside to smell it. Bet you didn't know that. Pointless fact, but I'm interested. Earthworms top all of these. Its entire body is covered with taste buds. Of course, since an earthworm pretty much just moves through dirt, who knows how great that taste would be. We, however, taste primarily with our tongues, although our noses can get involved a little bit too. We have somewhere between 3,000 3, and 10,000 taste buds on our tongues. The things we taste fall into five different categories. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter and savoury. Another word for savoury is umamin, umamai. Umamai? I don't know. I was rubbish at biology at school. All these taste buds are an important part of God's design for us. Our sense of taste protects us by helping us avoid eating things that are rotten or poisonous or just plain bad for us. But God also gave us a sense of taste so we could experience foods that taste good too. Think of your favourite food. Can you imagine how delicious it tastes? Oh, my mouth is salivating at the thought. God fills our world with blessings and signs of his goodness and he wants us to enjoy them. God wants us to open up all of our senses to experience the wonders of his creation, taste and see and touch and hear and smell that God is good and he creates good things. Fact for the day, other than my fact about beavers. The giraffe's tongue is more than one and a half feet long. That, which means it can lick its entire face. That's flipping amazing. Cats and dogs use their tongues to clean their fur and remove fleas or other parasites. Chameleons, anteaters and frogs use their sticky tongues to catch their lunch of bugs. Oh, honestly, my tongue's useless in comparison. So, touch, hear, smell, taste and see. Those are the five senses. We're going to go through all five. I think that's right. And we're going to thank God for each of those five today. But first, let's be still. In the presence of God. I never get bored of knowing that he's with me, you know, like genuinely. Just, it's for me, it's probably the most important part of praying. In fact, it is. Just being with him. What have you tasted today that tasted good? Say out loud, Father, thank you for the taste of What have you seen today that looked amazing? Say thank you to God. What did you touch today that felt amazing? Say thank you. I'll give you an example. Put my hand into our, we've got a huge paddling pool which we bought at the beginning of lockdown. And the water was so cool. It felt amazing. And I was just really thankful for water. Sounds like a random thing, but I think we just should thank God for the amazing world he's put us in, just for cool, cooling water. What did you touch? What did you hear today? Maybe somebody told you something encouraging. Or maybe it's the sound of the birds. To say thank you. 
and then when you've done that well, then you smell and then I'm going to bring us all together by saying thank you which you want you to join in with me thank you Father it's an amazing world and your presence with us and for the things that we taste and see and touch and hear and smell thank you for the senses help us to be alive to your beautiful world and to say thank you Give us a good night's rest, I ask. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you again soon.